Hi, welcome. This talk is about the poster called A Simple Determination of Planck's Constant with a Smartphone. As you know, smartphones are powerful tools to perform physics experiments thanks to their built-in sensors like the accelerometer, the gyroscope, the magnetometer, and of course, the ambient light sensor. This sensor is sensitive to electromagnetic radiation with a spectral responsivity similar to the human eye, from 400 nanometers to almost 700 nanometers. But the ambient light sensor is also sensitive, in many cases, to a portion of the infrared spectrum. Let's talk about thermal radiation. An object of temperature T emits or radiates electromagnetic waves with energies according to the Planck's law. Here R is the energy of some wavelength. H is the Planck's constant. C is the speed of light. K is Boltzmann's constant and T is the temperature of the object. If the wavelength is large, then the Planck's law could be approximated by the Rayleigh Shin's equation. In the other hand, if lambda, the wavelength, is small, then the Planck's equation could be approximated by the Wien's equation. For example, for an incandescent lamp, the temperature is of the order of 3000 kelvins, so the reference wavelength of the maximum of radiation is almost 5000 nanometers or 5 micrometers. So for the wavelengths where the ambient light sensor is sensitive, it is true that the condition for the Vienne's approximation is true. So the Vienne's approximation could be applied then we could calculate the light intensity measured by an ambient light sensor. We have to integrate the energy over every wavelength. And thanks to the mean value theorem, we could express the light intensity this way as a mean value of the energy, where lambda zero is a mean wavelength of the spectral response of the sensor, and delta lambda is the difference between the upper and lower limits of the spectral response of the sensor. So we have that the light intensity could be expressed as a function of the temperature of the object, where A and V are constants that depends on universal constants like the Planck's constant, the speed of light, the Boltzmann's constant, and the mean wavelength of the sensor. Then we could perform a known experiment where an incandescent lamp is connected to a power supply and the temperature of the filament could be changed, changing the voltage of the power supply. Also, we could obtain the temperature of the filament, changing the voltage measuring the voltage and the current 
in the lamp. Also, we take measures of the intensity of light with the smartphone. So we have different temperatures of the filament and the light intensity for each temperature. Then from the Wien's equation, we could perform a plot of the logarithm of the light intensity measured by the smartphone as a function of the inverse of the temperature, like in this plot. And from the slope of this plot, we could obtain the parameter V of the Wien's equation and knowing the speed of light, the Boltzmann constant, and the mean wavelength of the sensor, we could obtain the Planck's constant that we have here as a very accurate value. Thank you very much for your attention. Please visit our website where we have a lot of papers and references about physics with smartphones and other modern devices. Thank you again. Have a nice day.